Hello, and young Remida, pangasimida. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that's okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes it can also be combination. As you can see, I'm not at my usual filming area. I'm currently at my dad's place, and this is my old bedroom. It's the holiday season, so I'm here, and I'm gonna spend my time with my family. It's been a while since I've reviewed or even tried tried Jumiso's products, and they have been cranking out new products over the last two years. Earlier this year, they renewed their Snail Mucin line, which is one of my favorite lines from them. And then they also launched two bestseller sunscreens. They also added two new vitamin C products into their all-day vitamin line, which is one of their best-selling lines as well. In the spirit of Jumiso's brand and thesis, I decided to make some fun content with their products this time. I'll explain more of that later, so stay tuned and don't change the channel. On this channel, I review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Today's video is made possible by Style Korean. Usually, this is where I tell you everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences, but today is different. Instead of sharing my thoughts on these products with you, I decided to bring on someone else to do the review for you. If you've been a longtime subscriber of this channel and someone who's been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I have a sister. So I decided to give these products to my sister to try to see what she thinks about them. I think this is a great idea only because I feel like she's never tried Jumiso before and this is her first time ever. And you might be tired of me talking about products all the time. Plus, my sister has always wanted to become a producer and I feel like letting her take control of this whole production process gives her a lot more freedom and also experience in terms of what producing a video or content even looks like. So she shot the demo, the b-rolls, and all the talking heads. I'm so proud of her and I kind of watched her throughout the whole process and she just killed it, so I'm really proud. With that being said, let's go check out what my sister has to say about all these Jumiso products. Let's go! Urikaja! It's Soph here, Ray's sister, and this is my day one review of Jumiso. Let me start off by saying I have dry skin, stubborn dry skin, especially in the winter, which can result in eczema here and there, especially on my eyelids, on my like chin area, my forehead, just everywhere. That dry skin, eczema is definitely one of my major concerns. And also acne, it's hormonal acne too. So it's something I can't even predict of blackheads, whiteheads, all of that. They're so small to me, but I still notice it and it's always bothering me. But luckily, Ray, let me try out these new Jumiso products that it's supposed to help with all these concerns and I'm so excited. One of the products we'll be using today will be the All Day Vitamin Pure C 5.5 Glow Serum. So I used this Vitamin C Serum first. It did not sting on my face and it also did not sting when I patch tested it yesterday on my arm. Um, and honestly, it just felt like water to me. Water on my face. The texture is so light, I didn't even feel like it was on me. I felt that instant glow. I currently don't use any serum products because I use tretinoin in a night. I personally thought this serum worked very well in terms of hydrating my face and to make it glow. Like I love a nice morning glow. Next up, we have the All Day Vitamin Glow Booster Toner. Also very light and watery it felt very much like the serum so i would not be able to tell between the toner or the serum if i did not see the bottle so i currently use the benton aloe bha skin toner in the morning um to help you know manage my acne but i've also recently been using the anya heart leaf 77 percent soothing toner has PHA, I believe, that's what Ray told me, and I trust it. Also a very light toner. I feel like the lighter the toner, 
the better it is on my face. I feel like it's hydrating, but it's also helping me with whatever concerns I have. Next, we have the Snail Mucin. Snail Mucin 95 Plus Peptide Essence. I love snail mucin products. Just because of how smooth it feels on my face, this snail mucin is no different. In fact, I feel like it's even lighter on my face than what I'm currently using. It does not feel sticky and it leaves my skin so smooth. I currently use the Cosrx Snail Mucin. I've been using this for a really long time. I absolutely love this. I do feel like it's very thick essence. It leaves my skin a little bit more sticky. With the Jumiso Essence, I feel like it doesn't leave my skin all sticky. It leaves it smooth, it leaves it shiny. And especially using this in the morning, it, it gives that glow to your face, that natural morning glow. You know, we love that. Now we have the awesome Airy Fit Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus with UVA, UVB <laughs> protection hydrate and protect. I wear it religiously, okay? This one, in my opinion, is on the thicker side. It kind of left me a little bit of a white cast and it took me a long time to kind of blend it out in my skin. Afterwards, a few minutes later, I was glowing, so I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like because this is moisturizing and protecting you from the sun, that's why it's making it a little bit thicker and harder for you to like blend it all in your face but I think this works and it's just as good as my current sunscreen that is I don't know how to pronounce it watery sun gel works really great on my dry skin and keeps it moisturized throughout the day with this it definitely moisturized I have not been flaking around my dry areas maybe I just use a little bit too much on my skin that's why I was leaving like a little bit of white cast and a little hard for me to blend it all in but I think this is great I would say 7 or 8 out of 10 the product that gave me the best first impression was definitely the snail mucin and it has peptide i don't know what's peptide but i feel like it's great this one is a lot lighter less sticky and i feel like i love that a lot more than the Cosrx one that I've been using for years now. Leaves my skin so smooth. And when you use it in the morning like I did, you're glowing. I would definitely include this in my daily morning routine now. That's how much I like it. This is only my first day trying these products. And right now I do feel like I'm glowing. I'll see you in day seven. Action. It's day seven, y'all. Hey, today is day seven. Since the last time y'all saw me, there has been a lot of changes, but they're great. I am extremely happy with all the products that I've been using. With this new morning routine, it's literally making my skin glow. Do you guys see it? There's less redness on my face. And y'all know it's hard for me to stay hydrated in the winter time, but my skin looks so smooth and so hydrated. I have been using these products religiously every morning. The Snail Mucin 95 has been the nicest on my skin. And I think it's just because when you do all the steps together leading up to the Snail Mucin, it just makes applying it on your skin a lot more smooth. Literally this morning when I was putting this on, it was just gliding on my skin. And it was so smooth and I felt so moisturized. And honestly, I don't think any of the products have given me a bad experience. I know initially on day one I said sunscreen was a bit too thick but now with day seven after applying it it does leave my skin very moisturized very protected and it doesn't leave the white cast maybe it's because i figure out the right amount to use i actually love the sunscreen and i think it works really well especially applying everything in the step uh, beforehand and using the sunscreen before you leave the house i've been so stressed and struggling with my acne hormonal acne for the longest time i've literally been asking Asking Ray over and over again how I can get rid of my acne, my redness, 
that's literally what I'm trying to go for is the no makeup look. And I think even just with day seven, by using all these products every morning, I feel like I am achieving that no makeup look. I don't have any makeup on right now. I see so many improvements in terms of my acne. You can probably see I still have one right here, but I had a really big one, an annoying one, right here, and it's basically gone. That's it for my day seven review, and I'll see you all in day 14. This hydrated me for the whole day and it was giving me a nice glow. No irritations, just felt like water. After this trial period, I would definitely keep using this toner. I think it's so beneficial to my skin, especially my dry skin in the winter time. I would rate that toner A. this serum every morning this is the first thing I put on my face after I wash it this serum did not sting my skin ever this serum is like magic water it got rid of a lot of my redness and even some of my acne scars that I've had for years I like that it was watery so it felt very light on my face. I will continue it because it got rid of so many blemishes and my redness. This serum is definitely something I would recommend to anyone with redness, acne scars, A+. Plus. the snail mucin is its texture because it leaves my skin glowing and it's so smooth when applying to my face but also the best thing is I think it's the packaging it's so cute so you know I love uh, the Cosrx snail mucin this is something I use every night but you can see that it's only a hundred milliliters whereas the Jumi So Stale Mucin is 140 milliliters. They're like, the, what, the same price? So I would prefer the Jumi So better. It has the peptide in there as well. It's just a lot less sticky and smooth. The texture is very similar. I would buy another one. I don't think I would buy this anymore, but I would buy this because, what, it's the same price? A plus. That I like about the sunscreen is that it's really moisturizing especially after putting all the other products on your face and this is your last step it makes your skin glow and it hydrates it protects you from the Sun the one thing that I did not like about the sunscreen was that it was very thick and it left a little white cast. Once you know how much you put on your face, like just a little drop or something, just enough for your face, then it, you could just blend it in as quickly as any other sunscreen. I think the packaging made the application a little bit difficult just because the sunscreen just flows right out when you gently squeeze it. You know, it's a little hard to control like how much you are taking out. So this is the sunscreen that I currently use, the Isn Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. The applicator is a lot thinner than the Jumi So, so you can really control how much you're going to take out to put onto your finger, which I think is a little bit better than this applicator. The hole is just too big. The difference with the textures between these two sunscreen is that the Jumi So is a lot thicker. This is a lot more watery, I would say, and it's not as white as this, but that's really the main difference because both of these sunscreen actually leaves my face hydrated at the end of the day you know the best way to use this sunscreen is just to put a little bit it's watery enough for it to blend into your face but the texture itself is thick so all you really need is just a little bit on your finger 
to blend it all in. I cannot do the two finger method with this because of the applicator opening being too wide. So I do like a drop of my tip finger and it usually works for me so that it doesn't leave any white cast. I would say that this could get messy if you're reapplying during the day because even though the texture is thick, the sunscreen itself is also watery and very so if you are applying it in the middle of the day, you're gonna take a little while to blend it back in. Hygiene wise, I wouldn't really want to use this outdoors or like in the middle of the day just because of the opening applicator again. It's just too wide. Your hand is just gonna get all, you know, sticky and, and watery and you know, you just don't like that in the middle of the day. I think I do like this. But I would still use this and I would use this maybe for certain occasions, maybe if I'm going to the beach. I feel like this protects it and hydrates it a lot better. This is more so my like daily sunscreen, you know, because it's just light and something that helps me get through the day. But I would still use this and buy it. I would rate this A-, minus, B+. Plus. Like maybe in between there. My favorite on day 14 is actually the vitamin C serum. I love the essence. I still love the essence, but I think I'm starting to see a lot of the serum's results because of, you know, I'm actually clearing up. My face is clearing up. This little bottle works miracles. I have less red like acne scars or you know you can finally see this working on day 14 so i'm very very happy with this product thank you for watching please subscribe to ray uh comment down below which product you would use and like bye